<laughs> oh, it's getting silly now. It is getting very, very silly now. We're only in the middle of June. The transfer window has only been officially open less than a week. And this one has to be the biggest load of bollocks so far. Press, trap yourselves in, people. It's gonna be it's gonna be a mad summer. It's gonna be let's get into it. Let's get into it. And please before we do actually get into it, subscribe to the Mac by Channel TV. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button on this video. I'm gonna position myself round here away from the sun actually, just for a second as it comes to that big cloud. And yeah, so a day, this bloke. This bloke with nearly half a million followers, whoever he is, a journalist, a YouTuber, a wanker, I don't know, a bullshit, by the looks of it, really. Um, saying that Bruno Gimoresh, Newcastle, they've offered Bruno Gimoresh to Barcelona, plus 30 million pounds for Rafinha. Just looking around, just talking that somebody, anybody, there's nobody here by the way, could help us out to let me understand what realms of reality this geezer is living in? What's going on? How is this? What is this? So wait there. So Rafinha is, how much is Rafinha worth, by the way? So if Bruno is now valued at around 70, 80 million, Rafinha must be valued at over 100 million. The Leeds winger who's went to Barcelona and not been that good. Uh, I think he's class, by the way. I would love Rafinha, I've said that in previous videos. It just hasn't quite worked out for him as well as you would have hoped or Barcelona expected since his transfer. Um, but they're saying that on, on, on that estimate of this bloke, that it would be over 100 million. Right then. Well, uh, no. This one is most definitely, definitely not happening. I think we've got more chance of Ronaldo, Neymar and Maradona being up front for Newcastle next year than Bruno going to Barcelona with this Rafinha swap. Now, don't get me wrong. Bruno is very highly sought after, of course he is. Uh, Real Madrid have been sniffing around him. Barcelona are interested. Bruno has said that he's dreaming to play over in Spain one day. So unfortunately, Castle fans, I do believe we will lose Bruno Gumares one day, as much as we'd love him to stay. And he's, his kids now are Jordi's, he said. You know, Mateo's grown up here. He does love it here in Newcastle. We will lose him one day, I think. And I think in a few years' time, Bruno is the type of player that will want to play for the best, the biggest teams in the world. Obviously, Newcastle is now included in that, in the Champions League. But in terms of, you know, that heritage of your Real Madrid's, your Barcelona's, uh, maybe Juventus's, I think he'll want to play in those leagues. But for now, he's not going anywhere. He is not going anywhere. Because, as Fabrizio Romano has said, and as we've talked about on the channel before, we are about to make him Newcastle United's highest paid player ever. Newcastle United's highest earner ever is what Bruno Gimenez is set to become this summer. We are still in talks, um, advanced talks with Bruno, his agent and everyone, to make sure he does sign on that dotted line, a new deal at the tune. Obviously he's still got, I think, three years left on his current contract, but the point of that being is that we need to upgrade that. He deserves that, that income boost, that uh, appreciation, and he will go from 120 grand a week now, which is our joint highest earner. He is already our highest earner, by the way, him and Trippier on 120 grand a week after Trippier signed a new deal uh, a few months ago. Trippier did take a pay cut to come to Newcastle from Atletico Madrid. 90 grand a week he was on, we've now boosted that up. Because we're starting to do this with players because when we're bringing in new players, the likes of your Trippiers, your Brunos, your Botmans, your Isaacs, your big name players, even like your Joe Lintons, who are constantly performing. And then if we do sign... Uh, see, we did sign Rafinha, right? And it was just 40 million, 50 million in with bottom. And then he hit on, on Romani, and he's wanting to come in on two, 250, 300 grand a week. The likes of Bruno are going to be turning around, like I've just done, turning around thinking, had there, what the hell's going on here? What's going on here? I've been here, I've been here for a couple of years, dragged this club from the relegation zone to the Champions League. I want a couple hundred grand a week. Where's my quarter of a million a week? So that's, that's why he's getting it, and he deserves it, and he will sign it. That will happen. And then it works out best for all parties, because then Bruno... When he does want his move in two, three years' time, hopefully maybe even longer than that, and then Real Madrid, the Barcelona comes knocking, we can demand 100 million plus, and then uh, off he can go where you get that money, and everyone can kind of move on, I guess. Uh, but that rumour today is absolutely ballistic. It just doesn't make sense at all. Like Bruno plus 30 million, so again, that would be around 100 million for Rafinha. 
what on earth, man? What what is this guy smoking? Like I said, he is well respected on there. He's he's a top ball of Barcelona guy. Gets all the rumours and that right. Well, he surely surely got this one wrong because, like I said, and like other outlets are reporting, like Romano, that Newcastle or set that um, offer Bruno a big new bumper deal with two hundred grand a week, which you'll sign, I'm sure. Wind's starting to pick up. It wasn't windy before, and now the wind's picking up. So apologies if you just can hear the wind. I'll, I'll hold it a bit closer. I'll hold it a bit closer. But yeah, that's a load of crap. I thought I'd get that rumor out of the way. That's a funny one, that one. And then we'll move on to the next one, which is, according to the Echo, James Madison prefers a move to Tottenham Hotspur over Newcastle United. Yep, yeah, over Newcastle United. He wants to go to Tottenham No Europe Postacoglu instead of Eddie Howe's Champions League minds if you believe the echo. So that's a bit crazy. Uh, although, that old cliche that the old pundits used to lose, uh, love, lo get my words out, shall I? Used to love to use, was that they would always rather prefer to go to London. Why would they go to Newcastle all, of, all the way up north and that, you know? If it is if Newcastle was like District 9 on Hunger Games or something, you know what I mean? They were going to a, a danger zone, quarantine, last of us. You know what I mean? It's nice up here, by the way. Uh, so, they're saying that he, he prefers that move to London. For personal reasons and because he, he'd rather relocate there than come to Newcastle which if true if it is true what a moron James moron do you know what I mean because for me Madison the moron if he chooses Spurs that's pathetic to be fair um, but I could understand if it was this even if it was this time last year I would understand it because they were in Champions League Harry Kane if he leaves doesn't leave this summer he's definitely leaving next summer but now managed by you know, Posta Coglu some, some Australian soccer coach you know what I mean uh, and what they got what they got the best players are going to be leaving I'm not sure what their plans are this summer if they are going to invest and back Postacoglu which would be strange because maybe they're going to back him but they didn't back Conte or Mourinho that makes no sense but uh, if they are going to do that and they are going to try and push for top four and stuff again and whatever I think Madison probably likes obviously likes the idea of living in the capital and if he can link up with Harry Kane the amount of assists he would get and stay in that England team but if you can come to Newcastle, you can assist Callum Wilson when he best mates who you play pool with all week long on the uh, St George's Park camp for England. See if Madison plays on Monday night again for England against Macedonia against uh, since he played the other night against Malta. But I have this one's true. It's a strange one for me in the sense that you are really picking comfort over ambition and a project. I mean, so you'd rather live in London just so you can play for Spurs and do nothing because I don't think Spurs will do anything now. Sorry, Spurs fans, I really don't. I think Aston Villa could have a better season than you next year. I think we'll have a better season than you again. Um, you know, Liverpool will come back, Chelsea. I just think Spurs are on the downward spiral now, I really do. So from the goal there, over Champions League football at Newcastle United, with the likes of Bruno, Isaac, his mate Wilson, the list goes on and on, new signings that we'll make, would be a very strange choice for me. I wouldn't understand that decision from Madison. Now, I'm not saying it's true because this was just an article in the Echo. Personally, I would be surprised if it was true. Um, I really would for the reasons I've just listed. But the, the problem for me is, isn't that Madison's choosing Spurs? I think he just wants his future sorted. And I think Tottenham are going to most likely be able to sort that quicker than we are. I think they would sort that quicker than, than we can. Because for me, Newcastle are trying to renegotiate with Leicester. Leicester want 55 million. We only want to pay 45 million. Can we meet in the middle? Can we sort an add-ons out? Whereas Spurs will probably happily slap down the 55, 60 million. And they will also offer Madison more than Newcastle probably will a week. I think they would offer him a more lucrative package. Package. Because Leicester, uh, Spurs have already dishing out big contracts, you know, to their players. They've probably got like Eric Dyer and that on, on a couple hundred grand a week. Sanchez and that, you know what I mean? These bums on a couple of hundred grand a week. So they'll probably, Leicester, they'll probably offer Leicester's Madison. Easy that. So... Well, maybe he does want to go for the money, maybe he does want to go be the capital, but choosing that over Newcastle's project and the Champions League that we're in already will be a mad decision for me, but I think there'll be plenty of twists and turns in the Madison saga this summer. Let me know what you think. Do you think Madison will sign for Newcastle or Spurs? Do you think Bruno Gimmers will ever leave Newcastle? Let us know what you think of that mad rumour as well. This summer never going to happen for me. Subscribe to the Magma Channel TV and enjoy yourself.